question. Uh, Steve, good morning. Uh, regarding the question of the gentleman over there regarding the interbank, I mean, if Dubai Islamic Bank is going to release a mortgage against the mortgage of the other bank to the same Viking, I think this way uh, the banks have to change their process because you won't accept any further release of mortgage through your department, right? The, if it's something coming into RTA, then we will, it would need to come through this service. Yeah, sorry. So, that, so the piece of, we don't want pieces of paper coming into RTA. Yeah, so there is no more release of mortgage through RTA. Uh, through it RTA. would be done by the bank itself. Yeah, sorry, my apologies. Yeah. Thank Correct. you for clearing this. Correct. Um, what, you're, what you're seeing is the, um, the RTA homepage. I know it's uh, not very clear, so I'll, I will talk you through each of these pages. Um, they are screen prints. This is the RTA homepage, and where it's circled, it says drivers and, and vehicles. By clicking on that, the drivers and vehicles, you come to a general um, login page. A home user who doesn't have a user ID or password could renew a vehicle registration by clicking on this uh, the particular link and going through. If a person has a user ID, they're, they're uh, an individual, click here and they can log on to their own record. All the trusted agents that you saw, including banks, would actually uh, log in using trusted agent link. So this is opening up the trusted agent service. The next page is the user ID and password that's entered. So as the user ID and password is entered into the system, uh, the client is logging on to the trusted agent service, RTA is looking at who that person is and who they belong to. So trusted agent bank from uh, Emirates NBD, uh, you can access particular transactions. You wouldn't be able to do an eye test or do a, a driver's medical test. Right, so it looks at what services can this person do, who do, they, who do they belong to. Trusted agents come up with a, a standard um, page that says they agree not to misuse RTA data. One of the features of this system um, is it's fast because there's very little data entry. Pretty much we know, we know everything about uh, uh, the business. To identify the customer, the bank or the mortgage provider would enter the plate number or the traffic file. Both of these come off the vehicle registration card. Um, in discussion, we've been talking about allowing the mortgage provider to enter their policy document number. What that does, it identifies who the person is. In theory, there's no surprise. Sorry. The only thing you can do on this screen is press the, press the go button. The only thing that, that a mortgage provider can provide um, is, to, uh, is in relation to the vehicle. You'll notice here it says two. This is the number of vehicles the client owns. When you open up the record, here is the details of one vehicle. The second vehicle either wasn't mortgaged or wasn't mortgaged to your organisation. So you can see the vehicle's mortgaged to you. These are the vehicle details. The only thing you can do is press go. More detail about the vehicle, about the, uh, the vehicle registration, about the insurance, and here's your information here, uh, the mortgage information. There are only two options to press. Um, this one is in relation to the uh, mortgage release, so this is the permanent, and this is an NOC. Right? So it's the same process for both, uh, both uh, services. So for a mortgage release, press the button. This is your, real, uh, your only data entry screen. So the client's name, their plate number, the vehicle details all come up. The email address, mobile phone needs to be entered. unless. RTA already knows these details, in which case they pre-populate. So the bank or the mortgage provider is looking, is this email address correct? Um, is this mobile phone correct? Because remember, alerts are going to be issued. You've got two options, keep the mortgage, release the mortgage. If you press release mortgage, the mortgage is not released. You, you may not be able to see it, but there's a box uh, down the bottom that says, uh, mortgage release has been successfully posted 
to RTA waiting for bank confirmation. It hasn't been released. But at this stage, there is a transaction on your daily report that said this maker has done this transaction to this vehicle. They have alerts been issued to your, uh, uh, the, um, uh, the checker as well as to the client. In theory, the client knows this transaction. They're not getting a surprise that, that their mortgage is about to be released. The checker is logging on exactly as you saw. They're going